Okay. What else can we rub in people's faces? <laughs> okay. So, no, I'm not brushing my teeth just to talk to you guys. So deal with yellow teeth right now. Okay, thanks. The girl who took Sam. Hold on. <laughs> the girl who took Sam said that he hid in the bathroom and then he did come out and is already curious about her. So, <sighs> but I did change my flight. I'm just going to let you know that, but I'm not going to let you know to when. Like, so the the ride to go bring him um, was okay. <sighs> Obviously heartbreaking. Like, just because I'm not, like, bawling doesn't mean I don't have feelings. I cried some- I cried last night a little bit. He was struggling to get out of the carrier. I don't know how he did it. All of a sudden, my mom is like, he's- he got out of the cage. And I see Sam, and he comes in between us in the middle of the console, just looking. I'm an empath that just doesn't show. No, I mean, I would be more sad if I knew I'm gonna miss him, but I, I just know he's in a better place right now. Seriously. I'm at Motel Adam. Come out, Cracula. Wild, wild horses. BBJ's at home. So, yeah, she's at home for a little while longer. I'm not at a hotel, Krista, which day, but I'm coming home earlier. Be careful. If you're feeling unwell, please call 911. Anyway, um, so that means <laughs> I have to get everything done in a lot less time. No, I had my relapse, I'm good. And that picture of Sam, what, I was smiling because I was, I, it's like the last, you know, it's adjourned, yes. Oh, Pete's. Yeah. Well, no, I was staying into March, so, um, I was staying like, almost to like, probably mid-March, I guess. So... Regardless, we had to be out of the house, uh, out of the villa by the 28th, right? So getting, finding someone suitable for, finding someone for Sam is easier than BBJ. BBJ, honestly, if I'm being 100% honest, um, I thought I had somebody, but the person's like a heavy smoker, so no. So I don't know about BBJ. I don't know. She's honestly like really not, she's not well, she's very old. And I don't know if it's like, if it the most, if the most humane thing, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's not well with, and she, there's nothing that, sh that can be cured. I'm not gonna, I mean, she's like 20. She's very old. <laughs> she's so frail. <sighs> so, you know. <laughs> Youth in Asia. <laughs> Hello, Brittany. So what's up, honey bunny? What are you doing? How is Howie? Howie. So I'll be home sooner, sooner to you. I know it sounds heartless, but I have to be heartless to protect myself from these real emotions. So I just like bottle them up. And they'll probably contribute to my insanity at some point. I still haven't really grieved for my grandmother. Because I don't know how BBJ feels. I don't know if... I don't know if she would be happier... Um, with people, like someone new, or if she would be... If that would be really cruel at her age to do. I don't know. I don't want her to suffer either. I think she is suffering. She's old. Really old. And she, like, I can feel her bones. She's lost a lot of weight and, you know, so I'm not sure. So I just want to, like, do the best thing for the, for the cats. <clears throat> yes, you take, what happens is you take her to the vet and then they'll, like, give their advice kind of thing. 
I'm just gonna tell them my situation. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the vet will say, yeah, it's time. They'll say that's the best thing. For the clinic cats. <laughs> Can you imagine someone talking about putting you down if you're old and frail? Heh, yeah, why not, Brittany? But no, I think it is, like, not good for Muslim religion, too, you know? She gets around good, still jumping on the counter. Yeah, for sure. She doesn't, she doesn't. <laughs> There's like 10 people offering to take BBJ. Well... I didn't see anybody offering to take BBJ close by, and... I don't want to just give her to anybody, but if she's if she's not if the vet advises she's not suitable then i mean if somebody wants to i mean you know chantal told those people don't didn't do casual hookups in kuwait well maybe some people do and how do you know it was if you don't know any of the details so that's the problem you know other than the fact that allah had this picture very inappropriate picture Mm. So what's his explanation to his wife about that? <laughs> Why would I be mad and jealous of a photo from years ago or whenever it was? Like, give me a break. <laughs> we don't even have red lights in our apartment. So there. <laughs> yeah, in the old place. So dot dot dot. Exactly old being the key word so as i was saying before you spent your two bucks to prove a point you don't even have if it was him <laughs> that we don't have a current red light so it would have been an old photo when i wasn't even there so why do i care <laughs> that would be like him getting mad at the picture of tony and i or that picture of tony like who cares <laughs> not me before he met me he didn't know what a real woman was okay now he has me and I'm the real woman okay so there will never be once you go me you never go back okay <laughs> Honest Islam behavior. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We've checked each other's phones. <laughs> you think I'm dumb? I trust my husband fully. I'm not confirming anything or denying anything. Um, on purpose. Um, the fact that I'm not mad should tell you something, though. <laughs> like... You know, I just have more brains than people, I guess. I mean, again, you're like freaking out over a figurative picture that may or may not be Salah, according to you guys. And for something that was in the past, you don't know, could have been, you don't know the situation. You don't know if this girl knew Allah as well. You don't know anything about this situation. The only thing you know is that Allah had the picture. So that makes him a creep. Because I'm sure if my husband had pictures of women like this, I would flip out. The point is he sent it. You don't even know that. You don't know how Allah got the pictures, Mary Corvette. That's the whole point. You don't know how we got them. You don't know anything about it. She's playing the Cuba stream on repeat tomorrow with a face of BBJ on the screen. She's an idiot. I hope she's ready for her criminal harassment charge that will come. I know people don't think I'm ever going to do anything about FFG. Just because it hasn't been done yet. <laughs> Trust me. Nobody's going to like me on the internet. And believe me, I don't give a shit. Because you know what? I don't care. I have people I talk to. I'm not lonely. I have my husband. I have my family. I have Beezers. I don't need anything else. So I don't care if people like whoever these irrelevant people are ff fried ponytail don't like me they can kiss my butt and keep on trucking like play 
play, if you want to waste your life replaying my old videos, get a life, okay? That's your fault. I make pizza and it's somebody's content for a whole day and you want me offline? Sit on it and rotate. Thank you. No, we're still going to use beezing. We can still honor, have an honorary beezer. Plus you have king and queen beezer here. <laughs> She's going to take my channel down tomorrow morning. Um, what is she going to do for content? That dumb, dumb biatch. She thinks she's going to have a channel and I'm not. Fuck you. That's harassment. And that's going to be added to the list of things that get you arrested soon. Good luck. You dumb, ugly freak. Frog looking freak. Let's take down, sh let's take down foodie beauty. Yeah, let's do that. And then have no money or no views. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> I almost wish. I almost wish. I would love to see you just... Just starve and go away. I would love to see it. If you put BBJ down, you're going to have so much backlash. Oh well, if the vet says that she's too old and it's not wise to rehome her because of her health, then I'm going to do it, A+. I don't care who doesn't like me. People can kiss it for all I care.